folks today we're going to look at some basic tools required for automotive wiring um, we have a um, stripper over here which is a mechanical stripper here there's a jaw that actually holds one part of the cable in while the other blade pulls the uh, sheath off so and we're going to look at two different types of spade terminals today that are commonly used in automotive wiring. So the first type is an open-ended spade terminal like this and we will be using a, pl um, a, a plier like this with special jaws that will actually crimp into the terminal. So this particular terminal is two and a half millimeter square which is the gauge of this wire. So we will be using that to crimp the terminal. So to do that, we place the terminal in the jaw, likewise, literally upside down. And whilst we're doing it, we just make sure that we're not jamming, we place it in correctly. Next, we take the piece of wire, just leave it through. Just make sure that the insulation does go in and then crimp it does require a bit of force. I'm right-handed so and when you take that terminal out this is the result. A very nicely crimped terminal that is crimped onto the insulation and a good mechanical connection. Now you may cho choose to put a little bit of solder up there on the connection and use a bit of heat shrink before you fit it to your automotive relays or whatever it is that you're connecting to. So the next type of terminal that we're looking at is this insulated spade terminal. The insulated spade terminal is used in areas where uh, the terminal needs to be fully insulated. The, uh, this end could be possibly going into a relay relay uh, box um, and if there's an exposed section that's where you use an insulated terminal. Now when using an insulated terminal very important I like these K-back terminals because they actually have a guide that stops the terminal from going all the way in. So we need to trim this one back to size so we will just trim that a little bit to size once that's trimmed to size, and when we trim, we just make sure it's a nice and even connection. So we make sure that that is now seated nicely into the sleeve, and then this has got three different sizes a yellow, blue, and a red. And the one that fits best for this application is the red one. I like to use that to really crimp. And there you go. You've got a nice solid connection over here. And you always do a pull test on your terminals when, when you're done. Just to make sure that it's there is enough mechanical strength. So that's how you do an open-ended spade and a fully insulated spade. And the tools that you'll require for the job are a open-ended crimper, which is like this. It's got these curved jaws. And the way it works is that when you place a terminal inside the jaw, it actually starts bending it towards the profile when it's actually closed so that's how these work then we have these type of um, crimpers which are designed for which have got a specific jaw pattern to suit the round um, round terminal so yeah so there are there are the two different types of um, crimpers we've also got Crimpers like these, which are known as ferrule crimpers, they are available from RS components as well. 
So if you um, create uh, crimping ferrules, they're useful as well. Obviously, you need a good set of cutters. This is a big one. You can always use some nice small electronic ones as well. And that's the stripper that I use for most automotive and electrical work. Thank you.